Hey, I'm Johnny May, and welcome to Piano with Johnny. I am so looking forward today to teaching you one of my favorite styles of piano, and that's Latin jazz piano in a Cuban style. I developed a course where I teach the style through an original song that I wrote called Sugar Cubes. Now, there is no better feeling than sitting at the piano, playing a song, and looking up and seeing the dancers come out of the woodwork and dancing to your music. It's the best feeling in the world, and dancers love salsa. They love Cuban music, and they just can't sit still. So in the course I developed, I teach all kinds of cool stuff. I teach the Montuno pattern, which is a very uh, traditional pattern for the Cuban music, and that bass that comes in. And that interaction is so cool. It's just a great thing. It's like almost like your hands are dancing. I teach some really cool uh, riffs and uh, an ostinato pattern up top that really cuts through if you're in a band. And then in the B section of the song, I teach some really lush, kind of jazzy chords. these poly chords, these the kind of transitions. It's really nice stuff. There's a lot in this lesson. And so for this lesson, this is actually a preview to the course. I teach a portion of that course, and I'll be teaching you this Cuban groove pattern with a simplified left hand. Um, but however, in, my, in the course itself, you learn both the simplified left hand and the more advanced left hand. So let's hop into the course. All right, so what we're going to be doing here is playing this Cuban groove. Um, it's really exciting to play. You can dance to it, and it's fun because we're actually carrying so much of it on the piano here, playing the bass line with that right-hand pattern. So in Cuban music, we have what's called a montuno, which is this repeated pattern in the right hand. And then the, the left-hand bass, we have this another repeated pattern, which emphasizes off beats. So I'm going to go ahead and play it here for you, and then I'll break it down and show you exactly what I'm doing. So here's the full pattern. As you can see, or as you can hear, it's really rhythmic and really funky, and it's, it's really cool. It makes you want to move. So what we have going on here, like I said, is this montuno in the right hand. It's a repeated pattern you hear in all Cuban music. Sometimes it's a lot higher, and there's more chords involved. In this case, we're only dealing with four chords. So our first chord is A minor 7, then we have a D7, a B minor 7, and then an E7. What I'm going to do first is show you the right hand, show you exactly what I'm doing, and talk about okay, how these chords are being outlined. So I'll start with just the right hand by itself. So this is actually here our first pattern. I said A minor 7, and if you look at this chord, there's no A in it. Well, it's a rootless chord. That's going to come in our left hand. So the right hand is G, C, and E. I use fingers 1, 3, and 5. The second chord is a D9, okay? And a D9 is a D dominant 7 with a 9, okay? And so there's our voicing. In jazz, we refer to chords as voicings. And so our notes here are F sharp, C, and E, okay? And so you can kind of hear in the bass, okay, okay, now, now it's making sense. You can hear the, the chord resonating. So there's our A minor 7, our D9, F sharp, C, and D. Next chord here is a B minor 7 flat 5. This is a really cool chord. Uh, we have a, D, and F, and the reason it's a minor 7 flat 5 is if you played a B minor 7 chord and lowered the 5th, there's that flat 5, that F natural. So here's our voicing, A, D, and F. There's our B, you can kind of hear that cool sound there. There's our last chord, this is a really cool one. This is an E7, E dominant 7 with a flat 9, which is up here, this F natural. So we have G sharp, D, and F natural. There's our four chords. Let's go over these again. A minor 7, D9, B minor 7, flat 5, E7 with a flat 9. Nicely done. Okay, so before we actually add or talk about the left hand, what it's doing in terms of uh, this groove, we're going to talk about how to break up the right hand pattern. 
So it's fairly simple. I'll go ahead and play it for you and then we'll break it down. So here's the right, that right hand again. Okay, so what we're doing here is we start with that G by itself, go up to the third, back down to G and the F sharp, up to the third, A, up to D and F, back down to A, G sharp, back up to D and F. That's the pattern. Okay, one more time. There's your basic pattern there, okay? I just practice just those notes, just getting comfortable playing just those notes in order. Then we'll talk about the rhythm. The rhythm here is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. It's a weird rhythm, okay? This is where we get the idea of syncopation. And when we say syncopated, that means we're accenting an offbeat. So in music, we have one, two, three, four. Those are strong beats. And then we have one and, two and, three and, four and. Those ands are the off beats. And that's what makes us want to move and dance is because we're feeling that syncopation. So right hand is accenting some of these syncopated notes. Specifically, one and, two and, three and, four and, one and, two. So that and of four, you got to put a little emphasis on. It'll feel weird at first, but just get comfortable. We'll do it one more time. Getting the rhythm down. I'll go. I'll go even slow, slower here for you. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And so you're going to repeat that actually as as much as you want. Sometimes you'll hear this pattern repeated like you know, for for 30 seconds, and then that bass comes in, the drums come in, that clave comes in, and it's just so cool. So uh, we'll do this here. We'll play this pattern at tempo um, a few times just to get comfortable, and let's do it together here. All right, starting on G, ready, play. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Well done, that was really cool. Get that up to tempo. You can play it a little bit faster, but you don't want to go too fast, okay? You'll lose the groove, and people don't want to dance when you lose uh, the syncopated pattern, so don't go too fast. Um, what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you the left hand, because we got to have those, those uh, roots to the chords, but we want it to lock in here. And so what I'm going to show you is a slightly simpler pattern than, than the one I performed, and that goes like this. We're only playing roots here. So first is A. And we're playing the A above the lowest A on the piano. This red dot here is middle C, so we go down to A, A, A. Here's our A first note. So there's the root of the first chord, A minor 7, up to D. Okay, we can use uh, 5 to 2. Then uh, next chord is B minor 7. I'd say the fourth finger is good. And then the E is the one finger. So the left hand is going A to D, B to E. That's it. All right, so how do these hands line up? It's fairly simple, okay? We're accenting off beats. So left hand starts on beat one. So you play one and two and, that's the first accent. One and two and three and four and, there's the second one. Okay, let's do this together. One and two and three and four and, one and two and, three and four and, okay? And as you see, we're back to our A where we started. So you're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and. And then as you continue repeating this pattern, you're always anticipating the beat. You're playing on that off beat. It kind of pushes the groove forward. It's a really cool effect. So we're, we're just going to do the left hand here a couple times. And I'll give you a beat. Okay, and remember, remember the first note comes in on the beat. So it's one and two and three. And then there on after, it's all on the offbeats, okay? We'll go slowly. 
Here's our beat. One, two, here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and. You got that? Let's go a bit slower, okay? We'll just do one, uh, two measures here just to get this down. And ready, play. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay? Speed that up. Get that to tempo with the right hand. Let's talk about how both hands line up. So right hand. Right, left hand. So I'll just show you where the notes come together and then we'll actually play the, the groove pattern. So we've got A on the bottom, G up here. That's the first one. Uh, let's see, let's do this again. And two, and three, and four. So that D comes in with the G. Okay, it feels a little funny, but that's the way it works. One, and two, and three, and four, and B and A come together, and two, and three. So this A up here and this E come together before the G sharp, okay? You'll feel like you want to put that E with the G sharp, but no, we're anticipating these chords. We'll do it again. A on the bottom and G, these come together. Those come together. And then that A comes in before the next A minor starts. So I'm going to play this pattern really slowly in time, and we'll count as well. So here's the time on this. One and two and three and four and 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 one. That's the basic pattern. I would get really comfortable with that and then we're gonna speed that up, okay? And it sounds really cool sped up. So we'll go about Medium tempo here, okay? And three, four. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four and. Eventually, you're not going to count. You're just going to feel it. Okay. So here's kind of a full tempo. Uh, I'm I'm not going to count, but it should kind of sound like this. So if you want to take this up to the next level. Um, you can play this more developed left hand pattern. I played it earlier. I'll do it again here. It's really fun. As you can hear, the left hand now is a lot more melodic. It's grooving a little bit harder. It's more syncopated and it drives. It's really fun. And I actually performed this in my original composition called Sugar Cubes um, on my website, Piano with Johnny, and you can actually learn the entire arrangement with that more the developed left hand. But as you can see here, we're adding some notes. Adding notes between those chord tones and using chromaticism and, and in the lesson or in, in that arrangement, I talk about, okay, how do we develop this left hand a little bit more? Hey, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Cuban Latin piano, there's nothing like it. You just start playing and that groove just comes together. Um, if you like this lesson or you like this preview, I have a full lesson on my website, Piano with Johnny. I give you so much more. I teach you the fully developed pattern with that developed left hand. I give you a bunch of riffs, a bunch of cool things, a bunch of lines, um, some really fast patterns at the end, some kind of flashy lines. So there's a lot there, a lot that will benefit you, benefit you as a player if you simply want to perform this arrangement or if you're looking as well to just improvise on your own. In addition to that, if you are looking to improvise in solo, I have another course, which is Latin Jazz Piano. It's soloing for Cuban piano. I think you'll really enjoy that. I go way more in depth into soloing, how to develop your solo, how to use scales, how to use riffs, 
and then uh, just a bunch of really cool patterns that you can you can, you'll have in your arsenal as a pianist. So if you want to if you want more, please check them out on my website. It was a lot of fun teaching you. Stay tuned for my next course, and I'll see you later. Have a nice day.